Jesus, I'll praise your name. God had to straighten Have a come down. Let me tell you this. The purpose and thrust, the theme of this book is faith. It's, it's faith. This book, this prophecy is meant to challenge your faith. Because at the end of the day, the bottom line is, do you have faith or not? And God is trying to get Habakkuk, God is trying to get you, God is trying to get me to move from a superficial surface faith to an absolute faith and absolute trust in God. Y'all getting this? Because this is my point. Number one, he's trying to get us to move from, you know, keeping score with God. Like, like trust that's based on merit. God, I'm going to give you a report. God, I'm saying, good, you've been to me. Food on my table. Yep, yep. I ate by groceries this week. And, um, yep, you did answer that prayer for me. Because, but God, you scored low here. And you scored low here. And you did help me out with that other situation, so I'm going to give you half. And so now I'm going to church Sunday, and you deserve a six on the scale of one to ten. You serve six. So I'm going to say half the time and a little bit more, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray based on what you've done for me. Come on here, church. I'm almost done with this now. Because, because I'm, I'm judging you. My faith is predicated on how you treat me. So Habakkuk challenges us to move from that size of God up. Keeping score with God. Determining how good he is based on what's happening in your little life. As though your little life matters the most. I'm the only one going through this, God. You better straighten up up there or I'm going to report you. <laughs> Having them trying to get us to move from that, that silly, weak faith to a whole nother level of faith. And listen, here's what you got to know. That God has everything at his disposal. Matthew chapter number 7, if you know how to give good gifts to young children, surely God know how to give good gifts to his children. And you ain't even close to God. So God got everything. It's already prepared. So God, if you got everything prepared, why are you holding me up? This ain't about what I can do for you. This ain't about what I can give you. This is about how well do you trust me when I don't do it. Do you love me if I, if I don't open the door? Do you love me if I don't bless you with that situation? Do you, do you love me if I don't deal with your enemy right now? Raise, have raised and three children. The last thing I want my children to do is fall out with me because of something I didn't do. In consideration of what I've done. 